Hello guys, good evening, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest weather analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, December 8 to 10, 2022 and this is our English version for by Typhoon 2000. We've been doing this uh, on a 24 hour basis since we have a low pressure area approaching Eastern Visayas and the Bicol region within the next couple of days and once it becomes active or intensify into tropical depression, we are going to issue a, a special coverage daily on the approaching low pressure system now uh, here's the latest graph set for today thursday until tomorrow friday here comes 92w uh, uh, it has been upgraded to medium chance of becoming a tropical uh, depression or a tropical cyclone within the next uh, 24 hours it's now 35 to 65 percent chance of becoming a, uh, a storm or a tropical depression and its uh, broad circulation is now affecting the eastern sections of the country that includes the Bicol region, uh, Visayas, and eastern Mindanao. So this is the trough or the extension from LPA 92W which is expected to move closer towards the coastal waters of eastern Samar. And right now it's uh, within the Philippine area of responsibility or inside PAR. Uh, approximately 940 kilometers east southeast of Surigao City, 8.0 north, 133.9 as of 2 p.m. And uh, the risk of flooding and landslides across the Bicol region, Visayas, and eastern Mindanao has been upgraded to low to medium. For the past few hours, it's been raining in various sections of the Bicol region, including Naga City and Camarini Sur. And up north, across Cagayan Valley, we have a dissipating shear line, but still bring some rains across Cagayan Valley. And uh, on the uh, northern part of that shear line, we have the uh, northeast monsoon still affecting the extreme northern parts of Luzon, including uh, Batanes and Papuyang Group. Now, the northeast monsoon is also extending across uh, uh, Panatag Shoal and the Kalayan Island Group of the Spotlys and into the eastern coastal waters or eastern shorelines of uh, Vietnam, including Hainan and southern China. So that's the uh, latest from the uh, GovSat. And if we take a look at the fast animation, it looks like the uh, broad LPA 92W is still starting to organize as it moves closer towards uh, eastern Visayas and Bicol region. And let's hope it won't reach tropical depression or tropical storm status which most of the models are forecasting it to occur within the next 48 hours here's the uh, zoom in solar animation so you can see the uh, extension or the trough now uh, bring some rain showers and thunderstorms across the Bicol region and uh, the Visayas and also across eastern Mindanao and the LPA is still somewhat disorganized but we are waiting for the sudden development of this system within the next couple of days. It's uh, somewhere here along 8 degrees and uh, 134 uh, east. Okay, 8 degrees north, 134 degrees east or 133.9 to be exact. So uh, if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation forecast until uh, Saturday. So this is now the... Uh, Rainfall of more than 100 millimeters that will occur across northern Samar and the whole of the Bicol region. So it's not only one town, but it's all of the six provinces of uh, the Bicol region will get a bulk of this uh, rainfall of 50 to 200 uh, millimeters. And also including uh, later, Tacloban City, other portions of Samar, other provinces of Samar, Masbate, and the whole of the Visayas will have some ample amount of rainfall brought about by the trough of this uh, broad LPA 92W. Mindanao, just the localized thunderstorms will be expected, particularly over the central portions. And if we take a look at the wind and pressure forecast from both of the computer models, let's begin with the American model. By uh, tomorrow afternoon, the uh, uh, LPA is likely to uh, develop into a tropical depression or maybe still a uh, LPA. Let's just hope and pray it remains that way. And it's uh, already affecting uh, the eastern sections of the Visayas by tomorrow afternoon. And on Saturday uh, morning, the system will rapidly move towards the northwest, passing over 
Northern Samar or making landfall over Northern Samar based on the American model and it's likely to become a uh, tropical depression or even a uh, tropical storm. So it depends on the outcome on the uh, uh, current uh, convective structure of the system since the computer models are are conservative conservative when it comes to the uh, atmospheric pressure of these weather systems. And uh, on Saturday afternoon, the LPA will jump quickly over to the uh, east of uh, Lagunoy Gulf or Albay Gulf and likely to become a tropical storm as it uh, makes landfall over Canandwanes in the evening of Saturday. So Saturday, December uh, 10, it will make landfall over Catanduanes, so expect rain conditions which uh, could cause some flooding and flash and uh, landslides across the Bicol Peninsula or Bicol mainland. And on Sunday morning, that system will uh, slow down and begin to move towards, begin to move towards the north. On Sunday afternoon, it will start to move northward in response to a passing um, shortwave trough part of the cold front or the frontal system and the shear line connecting with uh, tropical uh, uh, disturbance 92W. So at this point, it could become a severe tropical storm, but the rainfall activity of the Bicol region, since it's quite a, uh, becoming a smaller system, once it approaches the Bicol region, it will start to, uh, the rainfall will start to dissipate. And on Monday morning, it will uh, move more to the north, Monday afternoon, and likely to become a typhoon, a minimal, minimal category 1 typhoon based on what we are observing on the uh, American model. And on Tuesday afternoon, it will start to recurve towards the north, northeast across the North Philippine Sea. And on uh, Wednesday afternoon, it will uh, rapidly move out of the Philippine area of responsibility alongside with a departing frontal system. Now, let's take a look at the uh, latest uh, forecast from the European model. And this is uh, also uh, issued as of 8 a.m. this morning from the latest uh, last model run. Uh, Friday afternoon, LPA 92W will be approaching the eastern uh, coastline of uh, or coastal waters of uh, Samar. And it's likely to become an active LPA or even a tropical depression. Same with the American model. And early morning of Saturday, the LPA will still uh, will also accelerate towards the northwest and it will be over the northern uh, coastal waters of uh, northern Samar at a uh, tropical probably a tropical depression strength and on Saturday uh, noontime it will make landfall or pass along the uh, shoreline of eastern Catanduanes or over Catanduanes as a uh, possible also a developing tropical storm most likely uh, same now with the American model, and on Saturday afternoon, the storm will start to move towards the north. It's still a uh, TD or a tropical storm. Sunday morning, December 11, it will uh, intensify further into a tropical storm as it moves northward, moving away from the Bicol region. And on Sunday afternoon, it will uh, slowly move closer to the coastal waters of Aurora and Isabela as a tropical storm as it moves farther to the north. Monday early morning, it will uh, inch more closer to the coastal waters of Isabela as a uh, tropical storm or severe tropical storm, same with the, Amer although the American model is likely to become a category one typhoon and it's already a small system. And uh, on Monday uh, afternoon, it will start to uh, move very slowly towards the north. Tuesday morning, it will now start uh, moving slowly north, northeast, curving. And on uh, Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday evening, it will weaken into a tropical depression. And on Wednesday morning, it will slowly uh, dissipate along the uh, shear line of a departing frontal system. As you can see here, to Wednesday, it will um, start to uh, weaken, move more to the south as it is being pushed by the approach of another surge of the northeast monsoon. Okay, so we have a surge of the northeast monsoon across Luzon and the Bicol region 
by uh, between December 16 and 17. So let's uh, expect that. But first, we are going to focus our attention on this uh, low pressure system. So the track of uh, the European model is identical, passing here, and then here, and then moving that way, and then it will dissipate that way. While the American model shows the track this way, making landfall here, then it will move, uh, okay, pardon my line, that, that way towards the open waters of the North Philippine Sea being absorbed by a departing shear line or by frontal system. So there you go. That's the latest. And now if we focus on the 3D forecast, it looks like this will be the change it. This will be the possible track. So it's either uh, if the system moves this way or even uh, makes landfall over uh, northern summer and Bicol region and uh, the effects will remain will remain the same so we expect rainfall uh, on and off beginning tomorrow and becoming worse by saturday to sunday let's hope but that it will accelerate more to the north so that the effects will lessen but we are preparing for this uh, weather system that will uh, that is expected to dump heavy rainfall across the Bicol region and Visayas. And here's the rainfall uh, forecast for tomorrow afternoon. Eastern Visayas will be affected already by the rain bands of LPA 92W and possible as a tropical depression. And Sunday early morning, it will move across the Bicol region, beginning from Sorsogon, Albay, Catanduanes, and Camarines provinces. So on Saturday uh afternoon to the evening we expect heavy rainfall here in the Bicol region particularly uh, along the uh, six provinces of Bicol it will start to move away come Sunday noontime or afternoon and it will affect now the uh, areas of Cagayan Valley and the uh, Aurora and Northern Quezon area Okay, and that will uh, proceed until uh, Monday early morning, until uh, noontime or the afternoon before the system will start to dissipate. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for today on LPA92W. We'll keep you updated. Tomorrow we will be back to give you more updates on that tropical disturbance. From uh, Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always, be hashtag weatherwiser. Good night to all, and thank you so much for watching our channel.